Let's talk now about how to insert items onto your digital portfolio. So we looked at themes, now we're going to look at the insert button over here. There are a few things that you can insert into your digital portfolio, including text boxes, images, videos or portals to other websites, or you can upload things that are stored locally on your computer. There are also ways to put things from Drive, YouTube, Calendar, Maps, um, Slides, Docs, Sheets, so on and so forth, but we're going to focus on the simple ones first. Let's talk about inserting a text box. You can come over to this insert button, click text box, and you'll see one populates. You can also do this by just double clicking on the screen, and you see you get this little hub here, and you can do text as well. Now, inside of the text box, you have a few customization options. You can change it to be title in size, heading in size, subheading in size, or normal text. And you can see previews of each one of those there. So if I wanted to put my name again for some reason, I could do that. I, I'm not going to put my name because it's there like three times already. Um, so I'm going to take that back down to normal text. Obviously, everybody knows bold, italics. This adjusts, so we're just going to put words. This adjusts the alignment, so say you want your site to read with everything down the middle or everything on the right hand side or you want it like that, you're just going to go ahead and do so, you can adjust that. You can make lists here, so if for some reason you wanted a list numbered out or bulleted out, you could do that. You can also insert links, which we'll come back to a little bit later on. Let me show you one or two more of the customization options when it comes to text. If you look at this section background button, you can click on there, and then you'll see I can change the background that is behind the letters to something else to add emphasis to it. So if I wanted it to be green, let's say, I could do that. The colors that are available here are going to be related to your theme. So I chose this greenish theme, which is why the colors in the background, I've got those, but if I changed it, let's say, to black, now when I change up my palette, you can see I've got different colors to pick from. The other thing that you can change to is for the section background, you can put an image. Again, you can upload an image from your computer, or you can select an image that's already, um, if it's not saved to your computer, that Google has populated, so you can pick one of their images, or just like before, you can search an image up. So I'll do chalkboard, I'll search it. Cool, I'll do this one right here, and then I'll select it. Okay, you can see here, I don't think that looks very nice because you can see the white gaps on the side, but it did put it in the background, and the adjust for readability uh, mode automatically turned on. I can click that off if I think it doesn't need it, or leave it on. Most of the time, you're probably going to leave it on if you're leaving an image in the background. I'm going to go back and change this to kind of this gray color just because I think that looks a little bit better. I can duplicate this section if I want multiple sections with kind of the similar background if they're going to be text boxes. And then, of course, you can delete a section if you made one on accident. All right, the next thing that you can insert in are going to be images. So I'll show you quickly how to do that. We kind of got a little bit of practice with it when we were putting an image in the background here. So I'll click on images. Same thing, I can search, or if I have things saved in my drive, I can take them from there. But I'm just going to search really quick, and I'll do a Viking. So I could pick a Viking, insert it, and now I've got that image there. As far as where it is placed, I can drag and drop it anywhere on the screen. You can see he's moving where I want him to go. I can put it in the text box with those words. I can go down here and have it underneath. If it got too big, like I, this is too big to me, I'm going to click undo to get it back down to its smaller size. Okay. I can set it next to the words rather than in there. So you can see it makes a little bit of room for that. As far as where the image goes, you've got some choice on where you want to place it, how big you want to make it, so on and so forth. Now that you've had a little bit of practice with inserting text and inserting images, continue on to the next video.